the ROI for a grower could essentially be the same for tillage practices versus no-till because you're one less pass in the field and your yield is very similar or relative by a bushel. Yeah, yeah, I mean, being within a half a bushel, your ROI could obviously even be much higher. I'm Ashley Benhorst, Seed and Seed Treatment Manager here with Liquid Grow. I'm Phil Long, Regional Agronomist for North Central Iowa with Liquid Grow. And Phil, today we are at the ICM conference here in Altoona, soaking up all the information over the last 12 months that they can offer us. And one of the talks we just got been hearing about was tillage versus no-till. And typically in the industry, we hear that no-till can sometimes have a yield drag versus any of your conventional tillage options. And I know you and Jake have done some research on that. Can you elaborate on kind of what you guys have seen? Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly right. It seems like no-till always has a somewhat of a bad connotation to it. And, and the research that Jake's done this, this year, we had uh, three locations looking at the impact of tillage with and without uh, fertilizer, essentially. So the results are kind of stark, uh, but uh, they, they paint a really good picture of the importance of fertilizer in no-till situations. So our uh, we had a no-till setup, and then we had strip-till. So those are tillage options, basically, no-till and strip-till. And then we had a full fertilizer with and without. So the check would have been no fertilizer. And if you're looking at the no-till side of things, the check without fertilizer was 30 bushel less. So. And we're talking uh, yields in the 270. So it's about 240, 245 was the check without fertilizer, which is still really good. Right. Uh, but uh, when we added the fertilizer, and this is an exact strip, so we're putting it right over the row, which is also important, banding it right there where the plant's going to be able to take it up. Uh, it was around 275, 274, which is pretty impressive. But then if you look at the tillage side of things, thinking, okay, tillage, you're working it in, you're mixing that up, maybe, you know, getting rid of some of that uh, no-till uh, ding, you know, from early on and stuff, we always think of cold soils and all these things. It was actually within a half a bushel with on, on the fertility side. So if we had fertility and no, if we had the fertilizer and no-till and on the strip till, it was within a half a bushel of each other. Okay. But if we didn't have that fertilizer, like I mentioned, on the no-till side, it was 30 bushel less, and on the strip-till side, it was about nine bushel less. So there was a little advantage there on the tillage side, the, the strip-till, but the really the take-home yeah. to, to me is how impressive that side-by-side -side of tillage versus no-till and, and making sure that you have the nutrients that that crop needs right at, at, its, at its disposal uh, when it needs it. So. Yeah. So Phil, essentially what you're saying is the ROI for a grower could essentially be the same for tillage practices versus no-till because you're one less pass in the field and your yield is very similar or relative by a bushel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, being within a half a bushel, your ROI could obviously even be much higher. Now this was three locations of one year of data, obviously, and every year is different. But uh, still, to be able to overcome a lot of the things that we deal with, the issues we deal with with no-till, uh, just having the fertilizer placed in the right spot uh, to be within a half a bushel of somebody that's, that's doing tillage, like I said, strip tillage, I mean, that takes a lot of power. Uh, it's an it's a expensive tool and a lot of fuel to pull a strip till unit through, you know, the field. And any tillage, you're going to have, you know, cost of fuel and, and labor time and so forth. Simply having us come out there and do something like exact strip to have it right there where the plant needs it and be within a half a bushel of of your neighbor doing tillage, that, that puts you at a huge advantage. Yeah, that's pretty pretty cool information to, to hear. So thank you for joining us today, and we're going to go learn more at the ICM. Stay in the know with Liquid Grow.